Hello, my name's Tom, and I have found Jesus Sonic. And you can find the Jesus Sonic plugins too by going to your track, clicking on FX, going to Add, and then going to the confusingly named JS folder. I say confusingly named as the file type for Jesus Sonic is actually JSFX and not JS, which is JavaScript. So some people seem to think that they're JavaScript files, but it's nothing to do with that. So as you can see, there's loads of these in here. Most of these ones I've got in here, they're all the default ones which come with Reaper. Um, I'll just find one I know is a good one. So I'll show you that one in a minute. But the first one I'm just going to show you is one which I keep as a default in my um, base effects chain because it works well on a lot of tracks. So I'll just play a bit of you bis to start with to see so you see what it does. And then I'll show you a little bit of what it's doing underneath. <laughs> Okay, now I'll do it without, and then I'll put it on and off again as we go, just so you can see what it's doing. Um, if you're only listening on a phone or through laptop speakers or something, you probably won't notice any difference, but it does make a difference. Okay, so as you can hear, it just adds some extra depth to it. It's not something you necessarily want to use on every track. You don't necessarily want sort of huge, big, fat, wobbly bottom bass on all tracks. It can, they can just make them muddy, but it does work well on a lot of tracks. Um, if you're interested in seeing what it's actually doing, what you can actually do is click on edit and you can see the code underneath. So it's all just scripted and it the, by default it will be using eel or eel2 which is what reaper scripted in but you can use lua or you can use python and a lot of these a lot of these plugins you have a look and there's really not that much code to it at all and you can get an idea of what it's doing just by having a look of the comments so you can see from here it's splitting it up into low pass frequencies high pass frequencies and treating them differently so that seems to be a fairly standard technique for bass mixing and it seems to work well. Um, so I'll just give you, I'll show you another one, which is um, Ozify Chorus. Um, so the reason I picked this one out is because I thought it might be something like um, SPX 90 Symphonic, which Zach Wilde famously used on Ozzy's track No More Tears. And it's also used by Butch Vig on Nevermind by Nirvana on the bass. So I'm going to show this on bass so you can get an, um, an idea of what it does. So I'll, I'll set it to just solo to start with. I'll start it from here. And then I'll add it in and then turn the drums on as well so you can hear it. Okay, yeah, so I think that works quite well. I think the default settings, well, this is my default setting on it for the huge booty boost, huge booty bass enhancer, and the Ossifier Chorus actually work pretty well. Yeah, but you obviously want, might want to play about with them yourself. Um, so they do look a bit rubbish, to be fair, um, but there are some much better looking ones. So I'll just show you an example of one which is much more impressive looking. So re-EQ. This doesn't come as default, so, but I'll show, I'll show you how, how you go about adding these in in a second. Just 
show you some different ones. Yeah, so it's very similar to the Bab Filter EQ, basically a cover version, but it seems to work very well. And it just gives you an idea. There's no point demoing it really, because it's just an EQ, but it does give you an idea of what they can look like. So if you want to add this, I'm going to include the links to the page where you can download it. So there's a, li there's a link on the forum um, for Cockles for Reaper, and it gives you a bit more information and some details on how to use it. But when you're adding um, new plugins, generally the best way is to go to um, rear packs. That's uh, rearpack.com. And then you just download whatever files you need. So for me, it'd be Windows 64. And then you go into Reaper. Go into, no, go into Options. Show Reaper Resource Path. Path. And then what you have to do is just copy in the files here and restart it. So I just copied in the rear pack ones. Restart Reaper. And then they'll show up under Extensions, Rear Pack, Manage Repositories. So you've got a whole load here. So um, a lot of sites, they'll just give you a website address like this to add them in. So if that's what you've got, you go to import, export, import repositories, put in the address, select it, and then it'll add it in here. And then once you've got one you want to add, um, select it, install, um, do apply, and then, it, and then it'll add it in. Um, yeah, so you might want to, you might just, rather than restarting it, what you can do then, so you can just go to FX, scan for new plugins, and then it will show up as new. So that's a bit easier. So I'll, I'll put links for all this in and some, some other links as well, which you might find useful if, you, if this is something you're interested in in knowing more about them. There's a whole community of people developing these kind of plugins as a ho as a hobby, but um, some ones like the first two ones I showed you were still well, and they started off doing quite basic, simple ones in here, but then they are doing uh, commercial VSTs now. So it'd be a good way to learn and understand more if that was something you were interested in. So I'm just going to do some with clean guitar now and show you some of the other ones, which I think are good ones. So, I'm going to solo this one. Okay, so it's just got to start with, it's just got a bit of compression and just the IR speakers on it and it's just clean guitar. Um, I'll play a little bit of that and then I'll show you some of the other, some of, some of the other plugins which you might want to check out. Okay, now I'm going to show you with the Atlantis Reverb. This is Geraint Love one. Um, these are good ones. So I've got it on preset for Epic Swell. Okay, so. He has some other ones I've checked out. Echo Cycles, that's good. Springbox, these are good as well. So you might want to try those ones out. And um, some other ones which look quite interesting is his Cowell one. So he's, he's got a site on this. I'll, again, I'll put old links so you can find these. What I'll try doing with this one I'll just, is I'll just run two at the same time and then fiddle about with them. So I've got and you can see what they're doing. Okay, so it's quite interesting graphics. I know I said I was only going to do top five Deezer Sonic plugins, but I'm going to show you an extra one, just as a little bonus. 
This is quite an interesting graphic as well. Satan verb. So have a listen to this one. OK, so hopefully that will have interested you enough to um, check some of these out. I'll, I'll put um, various links in the description so you can try them, try them out for yourself. I was thinking of but maybe I've got an idea the one I might do myself. So let me know if you'd be interested if I do that. And so thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in learning some more Reaper stuff, I've got some other stuff on my YouTube page so you might be interested in those videos if you want to check them out so yeah cheers